Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about MOSFET transconductance and this is going to be very important topic because later in the upcoming uh, topics, we will uh, discuss the MOSFET amplifiers and when you will study MOSFET amplifiers, then this GM is very important uh, factor in those modeling of MOS amplifiers, okay, whether you are considering common source, common gate, common drain or whatever, okay. So let us try to understand first what is GM, let us try to feel it and then we can proceed, okay. So basically you know that drain current expression of MOSFET in linear or triode or the non-saturation region as well as in saturation region and from both the formulas of ID it is quite clear that MOSFET is a voltage controlled current source why just you take the formula for uh, saturation region ID equal to half into mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT whole square so ID is dependent on VGS right similarly if you consider the expression for linear region they are also you can observe that drain current in linear region is dependent on VGS that is applied gate to source potential as well as VDS that is applied drain to source potential right so basically MOSFET produces current from the voltage so that basically we say MOSFET is voltage controlled current source because the amount of current produced by the MOSFET is dependent on the applied voltage simple as simple as this now so uh, this is one important point why we are studying MOSFET transconductance that is because MOSFET is a voltage controlled current source then just you just try to think voltage controlled current source then how the device is good or bad can be determined what is the parameter if we able to make such parameter which will give us an idea that if we change some amount of voltage then how much amount of change in current we can get that kind of parameter will basically determine the MOSFET quality right suppose means I hope you can feel my words that is if you get such parameter which will give you an idea that what is the amount of change in current with respect to change in voltage that parameter will be best suited for MOSFET because MOSFET is voltage controlled current source right so basically something del I by del V we require right because we want to measure change in current with respect to change in voltage that is del I by del V that means that is nothing but transconductance right because you know resistance is V is equal to IR so R is equal to V by I so that is we can in differentiation from we can say R is equal to del V by del I now we our in this case the expression is del I by del V that is inverse of resistance so we say this is transconductance okay and why that is conductance inverse of, inverse of resistance is conductance why transconductance Trans signifies that is change in output current with respect to change in input voltage. Output by input means trans, right? You have studied already that what is the transfer characteristics. What is transfer characteristics means whether you have studied in control or semiconductor. That means that what is the amount of suppose you consider with respect to control system that is when we plot V output with respect to V input then we call that is transfer characteristics graph similarly here we are measuring how much amount of change in current in the output side with respect to change in some amount of input voltage so output current by input voltage so as it is current by voltage so this is conductance and as this is output current by input voltage so that it is trans okay so that parameter we have got an idea that some parameter should be there for MOSFET which is basically trans conductance which will give us the quality of the device this first part is clear now you know there are two kinds of voltage in MOSFET one is VGS another one is VDS now when I want to measure the amount of change in output current with respect to change in input voltage, which input voltage we should uh, take 
the, this is the next question whether we should take the change in uh, output current with respect to uh, vds or with respect to change in vds that is the question so later we will come to know that mosfet amplifiers are the most important topic in analog electronics and mosfet amplifiers first we bias it in saturation region in saturation region only we uh, there is dc operating point of mosfet is set at saturation region so saturation region is the most important part in amplifiers so and you just think the formula of the drain current in the saturation region that is id equal to half into mu n into cx into w by n into vgs minus vd whole square that is because obviously we are neglecting uh, channel length modulation because channel length modulation we can model separately in amplifiers so uh, probably you might not have studied amplifiers till now so later you will come to know that the mosfet is biased in saturation region for amplification because amplification in most of mosfet is only possible in saturation region so we bias it in saturation region and so that as the drain current in the saturation region is dependent on only in the applied vgs that is get to source potential not on vds if you consider the channel length modulation also then also majority factor which determines the drain current is vgs right vds is related to id if you consider the channel length modulation with a very small multiplicative factor that is lambda 1 plus lambda into vds this factor is multiplied with the original drain current of the mosfet in saturation region right so basically what is happening what i want to say so as in saturation region is our main interest as saturation region in saturation region amplifier works this is number one point more for in number two point is you know in saturation region most it acts like a proper current source so that these two uh, for these two region for these two reason we will try to make this parameter which we defined as mosfet transconductance that is del i by del v with respect to vgs okay so basically for mosfet characterization this uh, factor this parameter that is called gm denoted by gm that is called del it that is change in drain current with respect to vgs change that is del vgs okay so this is very important all through the course of the mosfet it is going to be very helpful you just try to understand this parameter gm is equal to del it by del vgs and this is called transconductance okay why because in saturation region mosfet acts like a current source and we are measuring transconductance so our main interest in is in saturation region another important point is in saturation region only mosfet acts like amplifier and to design amplifier this parameter will be very important so that we are trying to calculate the parameter so that the amplifiers model can be simplified so that gm equal to del it by del vgs we calculate not del vds vds you can do there is no issue but we calculate this so that amplification models become simpler now let us try to calculate this factor value mathematically very simple you know the differentiation already in your plus 2 courses uh, while preparing for hs or j and what is that id equal to half into mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vd whole square just differentiate with respect to vgs you will get del id by del vgs as half into mu n into cox into w by l into 2 into vgs minus vd right the differentiation of uh, x square is equal to 2x with respect to if you and here x minus some constant whole square there is obviously 2 into x minus that constant obviously you know this much be 6 now these two and these two will cancel each other and the del id by del vgs will be mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt that is nothing but this expression okay that's what i have written here now just some modifications we can do there is some play we can do we can say like you play video games footballs like uh, in this way you just play with this formula okay you try to change this formula you try to try to make some new formulas like that okay so how can we modify see one ki one kind of way is this there is id equal to half into mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vt whole square so calculate vgs minus vt from here and you will get vgs minus vt equal to root over of 2 id by mu n into cx into w by l now vgs minus vt you got here in the expression you just put the value of the vgs minus vt h 
and you will get gm equal to mu n into cox into w by l into root over of 2id by mu n into cox into w by l okay you just simplify and you will get gm equal to root over of mu n into cox into w by l into 2id okay so this is one another formula and next is this one next how the model can be modified i am telling you see already we got gm is equal to mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vth right and id in saturation region as half into mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vth whole square now what you do you see that see this factor mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vth whole square you just split vgs minus vth what you will get half into mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vth into vgs minus vth simple what i have done x square is equal to x into x now you just consider this whole term this whole term is nothing but this one right that is gm so you just replace that and you will get id equal to half into gm into vgs minus vth so gm equal to 2 into id by vgs minus vth these are the different forms of gm you can play with these formulas okay but you no need to remember these formulas separately all these formulas you just try to remember one which is best suited for you and you just try to derive in in your paper that is sufficient you just try to remember one and i will tell you one shortcut way to remember the gm okay which i follow during my course okay so there are some important points related to this gm that is transconductance obviously one thing you can understand from this you have already studied the sensor and instrumentation course and this factor is well known to you i think right okay so what is that there is gm is equal to del id by del vgs what this factor indicates nothing but sensitivity of the device as you studied in sensors and instrumentation that is sensitivity of the sensors okay how much change it can detect uh, with a very lesser amount of change like that you have studied right similarly here you just apply that concept so gm is kind of sensitivity of the design, uh, device if the high, gm value is high that means del id by del vgs is high that means it's small the change in VGS, there is a huge change in drain current, okay? That means sensitivity of the device will be higher if GM is higher, okay? No need to explain much. And note point two is the shortcut way to remember the formula of the GM. And what is that? You already remembered in deep triad region, the MOSFET acts like a voltage control resistor, right? What is the value? You recall RT on equal to 1 whole by mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt right and what you got the for the gm expression mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt whether you are getting any relation yes that is rts on and gm are basically following inverse relationship okay so you just try to remember one that is already we have studied rt on if you uh, are uh, uh, comfortable with this you just remember this rt on and you just remember that this thing follows inverse relationship so you just try to remember this that the on resistance of the deep triad region and the gm in the saturation region follows same relationship okay that is one is one by mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vt another one is mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vt okay so this is all about the transconductors you try to plot some graphs by keeping some values contents constant some values variable the questions may come like that question may come based on numericals question may come based on modeling based amplifiers like that various kinds of numerical can be formed later i will show this we will discuss um, slowly by slowly so this is all about mosfet transconductors you just try to digest this this is all for my this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thank you for watching